Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I have a problem for you which seems very simple and it is actually not that difficult. But when you start solving it, you need to consider a few things. And there is some thinking required here and some analysis of the motion. And once you get them right, then it will be very easy for you to solve this problem. So I would highly recommend you to just give it a try and pause the video and then come back. Okay, so let's read the problem first. A block of mass m is on a slippery horizontal ground. So this thing is frictionless. We can assume this is frictionless, right? Slippery means frictionless. A thread extends over one of its corners. The thread is attached to the wall here at its one end and to a little block of mass m on the other side. And this block m is inclined at angle alpha now with the vertical. Initially, the thread is stretched, so everything is stretched and it is, somebody is holding it right now and then this whole thing is released. Okay. And once it is released, then basically the question is asking what should be the ratio of m by m, this mass by this m, so that the angle alpha remains unchanged throughout the motion. So when you leave this thing, then the motion will start but we need to find the ratio of m by m such that this alpha remains constant it never changes okay so that's the question so the first thing that we should do uh, in order to solve such question is to analyze the motion okay and see what all things we can draw from it let's say at any moment or initially let's say the block is here okay and there is a pulley attached here. So let's say this is the string and the block is like this, right? So this is the condition for block initially. And then once you release it, what, what will happen? This block will start moving in this direction. So after some time, let's say small time t, the block is here. Okay, let's say this is the position of the block and now this will be the pulley. So we need to keep the angle alpha constant, right? This angle alpha is constant. Therefore, this string will be parallel to the, the initial string. Okay, and then it might go down a little bit because the block has traveled to the left okay so this is the this is the position now after some time t so what do we see here so the first thing you notice here is that the string length is constant right this whole string length is constant so if it has moved let's say x amount horizontally then the total length remains constant for the string so this distance is also x right because the conservation of string length the second thing you notice is that the movement of this block is in this direction horizontal direction is by x so if this and this are parallel then the distance this distance should also be equal to x so we can actually draw so many conclusions. Okay. So now let's assume that the acceleration of this block is let's say A. And if this is A for the bigger block, let's say we draw the free body diagram for the bigger block now. There is a tension T here. Okay. Let's call it T. And then some ten same tension t here this is moving with acceleration a okay and this angle is alpha and if we choose this direction as x direction then we can write f equal to ma right in the same direction and that will give me t minus t sine alpha equal to ma okay which is 
that means that a is equal to t1 minus sin alpha by m okay so let's call this equation 1 so now let's uh, draw the free body diagram for the other mass so other mass as we have discussed let's say the tension is t the weight is mg and we know that this mass is also going in this direction with acceleration a it has to because the length of string is constant and this mass is also going in this direction with a because the string remains parallel because alpha is constant right this is alpha now here also let's we have x in this direction and y in this direction so we can apply fx equal to small mass ax and that will give me t sin alpha equal to ma minus ma sin alpha because this angle is also 90 minus alpha therefore t sin alpha is equal to ma 1 minus sin alpha and therefore a is equal to t sin alpha by m 1 minus sin alpha so if we take this equation 2 then from 1 and 2 we can equate a okay so which will give me 1 minus sin alpha by m equal to sin alpha by m 1 minus sin alpha and m by m will be sin alpha divided by 1 minus sin alpha whole square okay so this is the expression that we wanted to compute okay and for alpha equal to 30 degree we get m by m as 2 right so b is the right answer okay now what is the tension then we let's say we want to compute the tension in this string in this case so we can write the fy equal to may okay for the other mass and then that will give me t cos mg minus t cos alpha equal to ma cos alpha okay and we can say mg by cos alpha equal to t plus ma and we can use a from let's say equation 1 so t plus m t 1 minus sin alpha by m and which is t 1 plus m by m 1 minus sin alpha okay and therefore we get t as mg by cos alpha 1 plus m by m 1 minus sin alpha now this is the general expression here for t but in case when m by m is equal to this ratio then we can write mg by cos alpha 1 plus sin alpha by 1 minus sin alpha right because it will cancel out and then mg 1 minus sin alpha by cos alpha so that's the expression for t so t will be mg 1 minus sin alpha by cos alpha so if you see this one is also constant because alpha is constant constant since 
alpha remains constant. So this is the expression for T here. Okay. So this is very likely question in ITJ kind of an examination where the calculation is not much, hardly two equations and you could solve this problem. Uh, but there is some level of thinking required to analyze the motion and to come to the conclusion that this mass has the same acceleration in this direction and also in x direction. And once you know that, then these two equations are sufficient to give you the answer that is being asked in this particular question. Okay. Please do subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends and like the video. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and gain access to concepts and tips for doing better in IIT, JEE or other examinations. Keep up the great work.